Today on the program, we're making a beer that's kind of driven by this yeast strain. It is a Mexican lager strain. You know, I probably should have done more research and know more about it before I started rolling, but maybe I'll fill this in uh, tomorrow. T brewing tomorrow, I'm making a yeast art tonight, so I'm making a Vienna lager style beer. Not going for nailing the style perfect, but I am using pills and uh, mostly Vienna as the base malt and then a little bit of something else that escapes me at the moment um Care Munich I'll look it up give you the details like I said brew day is tomorrow but Imperial K Bono K Bueno K Bono Pro Bono for free that's how I do this right mostly uh yeah so I got uh just finished a pills got a Hellas on tap got a stout on tap Next to be kegged as an India Pill Lager, so I thought kind of like a medium, malty-ish, light-ish beer, 1050 or so, would be a good fit. So, making the starter tonight, brewing tomorrow. Alright guys, uh, here we are the next morning. I have a little more information. Six pounds of Vienna, four pounds Barca Pills, and I have a half pound of Kara Munich of 47L. So I'm not really sure how that's going to get this all to be a brownish uh, wort, but we will know soon enough. It did before. I made a similar beer once upon a time and entered it as a Vienna lager and it scored okay. All right. I think I even got a place. That was a small contest. Um, this yeast. Uh, was said to be not just good for Mexican lagers, but also any lager that you want a, um, well, it says a light to dark lagers with clean, low ester, aromatic profile, and crisp, dry finish. So, I'm just wanting to see what the yeast is like. I like a lot of the Imperial lager strains, the Harvest, the Urkel, I think I might be, oh, Global, I think is one. They're all nice, um, maybe subtle differences. But this is a different one. So I've got the mash going. This thing already, like last night, it already fermented up, had a croissant, and it's already down. So that thing is just real full of yummy, healthy yeast and ready to go. But now we just have to collect the wort, do the boil, do the chill. Get it done. So this is the color. It is probably a little on the light side for a Vienna Lager, but uh, I think it'll look good in the glass. And I'm just doing a Vienna Lager-ish style, basically with the Munich, I'm sorry, uh, Pills and Vienna mixture for the base malt. Gravity is about 10.52. 1053 we'll get a reading and I have it all squirreled away I got a nice amount um, there's my five gallon am amount so yeah ten and a half pounds of grain 1052 53 54 pitch the yeast hopefully it will be starting off soon interested in more don't count on us what's up everybody back from a little delay is a beer video and a joint socially distant beer tasting it's about six foot yeah boy happy national homebrew day and big brew day okay Dono. well and people you know i was about the fact i was mountain biking as my contribution to that effort today however i guess i'm contributing in my own small way you're here chip is you are now of the essence of this beer yes and i'm giving him moral support yes so the vienna-ish lager which is funny that i've been it's calling good. it that yeah. this whole time i i could almost maybe change it to vienna lager 
I thought it was not quite dark enough and dry and crisp enough to be called Vienna-ish, Vienna lager. However, we spent a few minutes looking up Dos Equis. We didn't look up Negro Modelo Dark, but we looked up the, the BJCP and the BJCP and Dos Equis Amber's explanation. I still think we're in the wheelhouse. You are in the wheelhouse. Yeah, so this, for one thing, I thought was a little lighter in color than it should be. However, they do talk about copper color to amber, and it's copper. It's not real amber, and it's not real brown, but it is copper. It went from 10. 55 to 10, 10. So the K Bueno yeast strain from Imperial, thank you Imperial, uh, did a nice job of chewing this thing down. Now the yeast is said to have a dry finish, which is something that this beer, I thought this beer also tended to be a little sweeter than it might be for a Vienna Lager if I think of those commercial examples. But it's been a month and a half in the keg. <coughs> I think it's, we were talking off camera, I think it's dried out a little bit and actually like my Hellas definitely was drier and crisper after some lagering time in the beer fridge. I think there's a reason they lagered these things. <laughs> they do get better. I mean, we've seen this with a couple of lagered homebrews where like, okay, uh -huh. you lagered it for a month and then kegged it, but then after a month in the keg, it just seemed crisper, clearer, like more focused. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like the the carbonation even here, like the one you gave me a couple of weeks ago, just did not hold up and here well, you see bubbles. Yeah, you see that was also filled from the tap and you sat on it for a few days for your own personal reasons and it may not have been like fully filled and like that could have been you know, different reasons. I just think it's better now. It could be. Yeah. It's definitely more like BJCP says it's close ish to a Martin, but there's these different things that it doesn't quite yeah. get up to. Less malty, mm -hmm. lower in alcohol, mm -hmm. less uh, intensely sweet, whatever. Yeah, like richness, yeah. toastiness, but this is really good. This is definitely um, of the Martin Oktoberfest family, for sure. But then why are we calling it, well, I guess it makes sense that it's Vienna Lager, but it's weird that it has this Mexican yeast component. I'm sure there's a reason. I mean, it's really that. a European yeast. I mean, it's a bastardization, I think, of evolution to call it a Mexican well, lager. They're being made in Mexico, though. Yeah, but they, yeah, the history is I know from there's Germany. A, it's because of, uh, I know there's a history that you yeah. can look up in two minutes and I didn't do it. <laughs> the point being, like, one thing I do think, I think this is pointed out in our reading, is essentially, like, it could be a little more, just a little more bitter to just kind of, like, Mm. Almost like I hate to call it like to make it more beach beery to just make it. It may not be a dryness that's missing as much as like a bit more IBUs. Maybe yeah. They got it clean, not like hot bomb. Just yeah, it was one ounce five of pearl. More IBUs, ten more. One ounce of pearl that I believe was like eight point seven alpha acid. It'll be in my vlog. I didn't write it down today. That rings a bell. Mm. Um, you know, it's six pounds of Vienna, four pounds of Barca pills. Half a pound of Care Munich. I suppose you could dial back the Vienna. I mean, I don't know how much you need. I don't know what the percentages are, but um, Vienna is going to be sweeter than. Uh, and the Barca Pills is actually a sweet Pilsner malt, so like maybe a less sweet Pilsner malt. Um, I don't know how it would score in a contest, and that wasn't even the point. The point was just to see <laughs> if it would make uh, a, a Vienna style lager and how this yeast would do, but it's. A nice drinking beer. Well, now that it's finally actually a nice day out too here in Minnesota, like it actually does what it feels like it should do. It's not a winter, late winter beer that just tastes diluted. It's like, oh yeah, okay. It's crisp. It's also got a little bit of body, so you're not gonna try to drink like six of these. You could, you but wouldn't. There's yeah, there's more substance to this than there would be, say an IPL or just a Hellas like that you would tear through like immediately on a day like this. Well, I can't drink too much of my like 8% IPL. That's true. That stuff is a blast of flavor and potency. that to me. Yeah. I looked at my watch because I was like, it's May 2nd when you're talking about like it being a nice day finally. And you're always one to associate a beer flavor <laughs> and profile with, oh, this beer would be good, yeah. you know, in this case. And so for once, it's like, this beer would be good right now. 
on a day like this. Today. Today. Well, virtual Good cheers. Job. Clink. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I. That's it. That's a beer video. You know, you've been putting up with the song videos. Thank you for all you people who don't like those for not <laughs> commenting. I think Saturday I said that before. Saturday we don't got to work. Yeah. Saturday Elsa literally woke work. up singing that song today. She looked at me, she was like, Saturday and we don't have to work. <laughs> and then I reminded her of the list of chores that we had to do. But it's not working for someone else. Yeah, it's working man. for yourself. Chorn. You got a chore. <laughs> get back to chorn. Pitter patter, let's get at her. All right, well, thanks for having me over. Good luck with your raw ale. And I will catch you later. Hopefully, we are recording. It's Dino.